This, uh, this title screen music is pretty good. Hell over one. Planet Crafter just launched into 1.0, which means no more early access. We got a total of three new biomes, 16 achievements, a ton of new soundtracks, and the final terraforming stage, which is animals. If we look at the achievements here real quick, it seems like they added a bunch of the old ones as well, or ones that should have been in the game already. Like crafting up to a thousand items, animal shelters, bake a cookie is something we could have done before, but I guess... They just thought about adding it now. Craft your first DNA sequence, which is how you get the animals. Craft a portal generator. Lava damage. This one is quite interesting because it says find a solarant quart. I'm pretty sure you can only craft these. But I haven't been into these randomly generated biomes a lot. Then there's uh, achievements for the new biomes. There's also a couple hidden ones. Yeah, the reason why I'm showing you guys this now is because most likely as soon as we start the game, we'll get a ton of the achievements. Oh. I guess we're crash landing once again. <laughs> Whoa! We crash landed into my base! <laughs> As expected, we're getting uh, four achievements by the looks of it. Those were the ones that I expected to be getting. Now again, the one thing that scares me is there's apparently a ton of different animal variations you can have. You can basically have up to infinity, they said. There's like 50 different, there's like 50 different DNA structures that you can combine. So while it isn't infinite, it's going to be a lot, which means this museum that I have going on that showcases everything is going to be, uh, yikes. Kind of painful to update now. Without any further ado, as always, let's check if we can get some new unlocks with the chips. We got a flare. I'm pretty sure we had that, but sure game. A new chip, I didn't really read what that was. New microchip for deconstruction, a torch, and those were it. All right. Interesting. So we're currently at the mammal stage, but there is a next stage. Is this the biosphere? Yeah, so when you look at the achievements, it does say biosphere, reach the complete terraformation. So I guess we don't even have that. Anyway, oh my god, and we also don't even have this final one, the extraction platform. Used to rejoin a ship in orbit. Also, we can escape then. The animal feeder, this is all animal stuff, which we should have by now. So there should be three new biomes in total. Whereabouts would they be? Now, I will say, things look very generic if I look on this map. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, okay, would you look at that? <laughs> that seems like a new biome. Now, I want to say I could see a like, bridge on the top there over the... Super alloy place. But yeah, then I saw that entire biome in the distance. Oh wow, would you look at this? I think this has been improved. I don't remember there being water here. Or these flowers they actually look pretty nice. Let's see if we can get on top here. My big guess is there is a vine that climbs up somewhere around. Wow. That biome looks amazing. I love the waterfalls. I feel like that biome has been changed as well. Like there didn't used to be these giant rocks overhanging the biome. Ah, I think I see it. This beanstalk right here, if we climb on top, yep, as I expected. Now get to, oh boy, and not send on that. Okay, it's kind of dangerous still. And nothing really special. Let's go over to the waterfall area and starting to rain. Perfect time to enter such a beautiful biome. So we should have entered it proper now. Seeing as we are not popping any achievements, I'm guessing this is the grasslands biome anything behind the waterfall not the bottom one would oh, you look at that we found something a bunch of ice that is kind of rare in a world that is this damn old it seems to go even deeper what is in this cave system this leads back out again okay my guess is that ice just forms around here and this is where you can get it after significantly heating up the planet oh what's this genetic trait are we gonna have to find these i thought we were able to extract them from plants and stuff wow it just keeps on going this biome or is that just an illusion no we're just back at the beginning again all right ah there's something behind this tiny waterfall though or inside rather uh, just a bunch of garbage, though. Though we'll admit, at the point where we're at, finding something that isn't garbage is uh, gonna be kind of difficult. I will say, I enjoy the look of this biome a lot. If this was in the game, back when we started the world, or at least when we didn't have such a huge base as we do right now, I would have probably set up in this area. 
I mean, I should probably know I like waterfalls a lot, which is why our current base is in the waterfall biome. But this one has multiple, and isn't called waterfall biome, which is kind of odd. So what is that? Also, damn, this goes down deep. But I saw a purple crystal over here. What is this? What are you hiding around here, hey? Magnar quartz. That is pretty cool. We found a genetic trait again. Oh, I see something else over there. Although I think that's just another one of those crystal caves. Ooh. Oh, well, I rediscovered the rainbow caves, which is the biome with all the new crystal variants, I suppose. It does look amazing, though. And look at this. You know, this place was always kind of barren around, like, the final story area. I feel kind of sad for anyone that built a base around there, though, I will admit. That base probably no longer exists. And let's get some food real quick. And also dump everything off. We crafted 100 items, eh? Not sure if this counts as crafting game, but sure. I don't think there is much more around here. This just seems to lead back into the caves, into the rainbow caves. Which, uh, they do look amazing, though. I guess this is where you can honestly probably harvest pulsar quartz and all that again. Ooh, what's this? Another genetic trait. Alright, I think that's enough of that grasslands biome and the rainbow caves. Because I do want to find the last other biome. There are a few ideas I have in mind of where it could be. But let's go check out the warp core once more. Although this seems to have opened up as well. Right on the other side of, well, whatever that biome is. There used to be a pathway over there, but this used to be all enclosed. So what is around here then? Is just another way to this area? I guess so. Alright, we're back at the warp core itself. I want to see if this thing is still powered. And it is, alright. Now I didn't think there was anything like particular with the warp core. Like it's not going to like turn on or anything. But you never know, could have been one of the other ways out, you know. Alright, and then in the back around here, there used to be... A just an opening, but nothing there. So I guess we may as well go check that out. This still seems to just lead into the nothingness. Alright, the other idea I had is to go behind the big waterfall in the waterfall biome. There were all these graves, which uh, I think they changed and there's a lot more suddenly. And also, no note. Yeah, there's definitely more of them, alright? Oh, there's the note. They changed this out a bit. Yeah, here's all the stuff they were carrying. Let's see what this says. Okay, this isn't really different, but the interesting thing is here. They say they're heading west, and I wanted to check that out, because that is somewhere over that way. Now, they changed this area quite significantly. There's also a lot more crew members now. Like, there used to be maybe four or five different graves. Now, something tells me we're gonna head towards the waterfall here, and that is what I was referring to. I do think it said something like southwest earlier, though, so they may have changed that as well. Well, they added this entire new area. This looks really cool, though. And then over here, there's just a bunch of frogs chilling. The heck is this? That's just a bunch of coral. Oh, cool. They changed the uh, water around here. It looks a lot more interesting now. Alright, whatever those people were walking towards, I would imagine it's actually this here waterfall, because there was a secret base at the bottom, which we already explored. At this moment, though, I'm at a loss. I don't know where we could find the final biome. Oh, does the portal have anything special for us? It doesn't look like we can specifically search for anything. So I came back to our spawn base location. I'm looking around on the map, and the only interesting thing I see is it's completely white behind all these waterfall areas. So did we just miss something? I guess the white stuff were those mountains. I don't think we can get there, but let's see if we can find some sneaky entrance or something. And while we were over there, I did not see any pathways that would lead to, well, behind the mountains, basically. And generally, though, just because there is no path to go there, doesn't mean we can't go there. There we go, I think we did it. Yeah, as I said, just because we can get here doesn't mean we are supposed to. Yeah, terrain like this does kind of confirm that. I guess it's just meant for backdrop, maybe? As a last-ditch effort, I think I'll go on top of the waterfall here. See if I can spot anything from up there. And if not, then damn, this place is hidden pretty damn good. Really nothing screams out to me. Interesting, there's a pulsar cord on the very top of the waterfall. I don't think you're supposed to ever get here. Yeah, there's nothing behind the volcanic area. There's a warp core, but there wasn't anything there. 
We couldn't get back there either. Yeah, I think I'm at quite a loss here. Well, in that case, I guess I'll have to stop my hunt for that new biome. Yeah, so if you guys have any idea of where we could find this new biome, please leave it down in the comments below. In the next episode, we'll definitely go towards unlocking some of the mammals and get the biosphere up. Well, hopefully anyway. So for now, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.